What's up guys, today we're going to do a really basic series attacking from side control and specifically attacking the far side arm. So Chelsea, let me get you down. So we're here. Just for this move, I'm going to assume I already got the underhook. The next video we're going to do, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on how to isolate it if they're being annoying. And I'm going to do another series, which I feel is very, very high percentage, which was taught to me by Dan Martinez. But for just today, we're going to do a very, very basic finish. Multiple basic finishes, actually. So I've got my underhook and I've got my shoulder pressure here for side control. My knees are in good position. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lean forward and I'm going to drop the shoulder on the mat, okay? The reason for this is I want to pin this elbow down, okay? I want to limit the movement of her arm. If I'm a little lower and I go on the bicep, right, she's got a lot more mobility here, right? Yeah, see, she's got a lot more mobility. But if I go a little bit higher, just on the elbow right now, move. see, it's a little bit more difficult. And now, because her arm is facing this way, I can trap it right here, punch through, and now I've got my Americana. This is a very strong, easy finish from side control. Just make sure you guys don't lift first, right? Don't just lift first, okay? First, you gotta pull this back here to her rib cage, right? So I'm gonna go a little further out so you guys can see the movement. So I'm pulling this back to the rib cage like that. If you get someone who's particularly flexible and you get all the way there, then you can start elevating and finish there, okay? So that's the first one. Now, what if she's turning the arm away? Okay, I can do the same thing. I'm gonna drop my shoulder, but this time I'm going to switch arms, okay? Now as I switch arms, I once again drop this shoulder, grab the wrist. So, I start here. One, two, three. And now I grab the wrist, suck this in. I can finish my Kimura here, okay? Multiple finishes to this Kimura. I can walk this to her shoulder, right? Walk the arm, Pat. just like that, all the way up to the shoulder. I can punch this through and I can get my zip tie Kimura grip. Some people like this. I'm going to slide this elbow now to her head and lift up just like that. Or I could step over the head, right? And do my traditional finish here, okay? So multiple ways you can finish that Kimura. And the nice thing about this too, if you make a mistake or for some reason they punch out because they're really strong, you can shuffle between these two finishes and also your straight arm bar finish here. Okay, he's got a razor finish here. So if she's here in the Kimura, she strains, I can walk this up, get this under the elbow, push down here on the hand. Tap. Nice, easy finish here. She keeps going. All right, I switch, drop the shoulder, grab the wrist. Now I've got my Americana. She strains out of this one. Same thing, I walk up, straight arm bar. She turns it again, switch, drop the shoulder, grab the wrist. Now I can finish my Kimura with whichever one of those three finishes that I would like, okay? So, lots of attacks you can do in that far side arm. Make sure you guys check out the next video that we're gonna drop because we're gonna go over how to isolate that underhook on someone who's really tight and being super annoying. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Make sure you share it. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Smash that like button, it really helps us. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're new. Also, we're dropping this content on Rumble as well, so if you've got a Rumble channel, make sure you check us out there. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next time.